Do we belong on the soil or sand on which we were born on? Or do we dig our roots deep in places that we feel nurtured in? My name is Hassel Ajmani. I'm a visual artist and ceramicist based in Ajman. My work sheds light on things which are not usually so noticeable, but are often present in our daily lives and commutes. My work also poses questions on the notion of homeland versus our conscious choice to be part of it. All of that has taken form different topics, such as construction and the human body, and even my current work with the ceramics, looking at the OE's native fauna. I believe that as an artist, unlearning something you know is just as important as learning something new. My own personal practice with ceramics took me on an emotional journey where I had spent years at a pivoting point in my life, having just graduated art school and facing a major art block and having to step out into the real world as an adult and a professional. And I find that I've always been a perfectionist to a fault. And I think a lot of artists can relate to that as well, where there's always a fear of starting something for fear of failure or for fear of not having it end up being what you need it to be. When you're working with clay, you have to keep in mind that this is an organic material that incorporates all physical elements of earth, water, air, and fire, and arguably a fifth element of mystery and magic. As much effort and work that you're gonna put into it, there's always gonna be an element of surprise. The amazing thing about clay is that you don't have to be an artist to work with it and you can just as easily approach it whether you're a designer, an engineer, a chemist, or even a child or a toddler. The material is just so forgiving and so open to being challenged and transformed in any way. My advice to fellow artists and to you looking to develop your own creative signature, stop allowing external opinions and judgments to shape the way you approach your own work. It doesn't need to make sense and it most certainly doesn't need to be beautiful. I do believe that as an artist, the most powerful tools that you can possess are curiosity and patience. What I want you to take from this is that you have to have the confidence to fail and you have to own it and to see that as the biggest opportunity for you to grow as an artist.